What's up, boys and girls? How you all doing? This is Jaeger Chair, and we are finally here with the newest update. I would call it almost the February update because it's well, it's thirty first of January. Well, it's technically February, and this update is rather small. We'll go through it very soon. But before that, I have to say I am very hyped and excited about what's coming soon, which uh, I guess I will make a separate video about it. And also I will make a video about the plans that I have to do in 2024 for the channel and the channel update technically. So I guess you, have, you all have noticed that I've been away rather busy in the past few weeks but yeah i will be doing the channel update so you guys will have a better idea what will be coming this year and what we will be doing so stay tuned for that but before that let's get into this update so firstly the game and the stability and performance fix an issue with the hero cosmetic rewards not being unlocked for some players i think i am one of those one players as well because i haven't noticed that issue because i don't usually change the skins because i, I like the skins that i use and i have but some of those skins that are interesting and it was uh, i think it was the chinese one i wanted to try it but then uh, it was locked even after the reward was unlocked but anyway now it's fixed fix an issue where the game could crash when picking up treasure if the player name consists of wait really was that the case i've never noticed that all right now the ui added legacy hotkeys for units in the blockhouses grenadiers in barracks ordinate rifleman and the Carlian Jaegers. And then the Cars of Saltiders now colored green to use another color from Chinakos and Soldados. All right. Added new icons for recently added team cars. That's good. Updated the icons of the Japanese attack cards for Samurai, Yumi, Ashiguro, and Yabusami. I've seen them, they, they look nice. Fix the dark player color in the RAM icon, okay? Fix the head size of the Woku, Ronin, and Masterless Samurai icon. I've never noticed that to be an issue anyway. Fix the inspiring flags icon when returning from Mexican Revolution, okay? Fix the Gorilla Tactics icon in the Yucatan Revolution. So the card was changed, but inside the Yucatan Revolution, the card was still the old one, but now it's completely changed to the new one. Fix the outdated Observer's card tooltip in the Yucatan Revolution. Okay, now it is fixed. The sounds. The following cards now play a jingle upon arrival. Marvel is here. For the Spanish and the British Grenadiers for the British and the Georgian Hussars for the Russian is an H4 card. Now speak Georgians. Okay, interesting. So that's like unique new voice lines. And the graphics mounted rifleman now displays a sword while in the melee stance. Masterless Samurai now wears a brown robe. Okay, to be different from the Walker Ronin. Upgraded Spies now wear a historical mask. I'll have to check this. It, it, it's not like something big, but it's interesting. I like the details in the game. Fix an issue with the Jesu chair skin not always showing up correctly for the Ethiopians. Wait. Okay, I didn't know that's a thing. Anyway, campaign. So these are not from the campaign. These are historical battles. And the first one is the Algiers. Fix the appearance of the Grilliger. Moscus now use the North African skin. Replace the Grenadier from the Berber Pirates with Humbarachis. And the other one... Fix an issue with the three organ card card costing resources. Battle of the and another historical battle fixed the appearance of the villager, replaced the grenadier of the Moroccans with home varieties as well. Mosque 
most cases now use the North African skin and the other one, the Tatars now train Tatar archers instead of cavalry archers. Okay, so unit and building artilleries now take three seconds to get into the ship. So they've done this for the sake of supremacy. So you can't really constantly put your artillery next to the ship, shoot, and then just uh, put it back into the ship to defend it. Walls now cost additional forward. Uh, hand shock infantry fixed uh, the omission of removing the cover mode from several units such as the Tiger Claws and Rattle Shield. So I've noticed this because I've played the... I've used the Tiger Claws in one of the FFA games recently and I've noticed that they still have the cover mode which they were supposed to be removed. Uh, stagger formation increased the maximum number of lines in the stagger formation to six instead of four to ensure units spread out correctly at the selection limit of 95, okay? Because I don't know if you have noticed, but uh, it used to be uh, very weird in a weird formation when you put them in stagger mode. Uh, but now it is fixed apparently. Uh, Galleon likes ship that can train unit by default or not cal classified as training ship. Coven now inflict 400 damage against training ships such as Galleons or Steamers down from 700. Ooh, that's a big nerf actually. Uh, outlaws added a class icon to make bonuses against outlaws visible in the statics panel. Damage bonus against outlaws get added to a sheriff United States and the carabiniers of the Italians. Wooker running speed increased to five. Tatar archers from the Tengri shrine, uh, the native ones. Rate of fire improved to 1.2 instead of 1.25 and artillery damage multiplier increased to 2.5 instead of two. Mountain trooper of house of Wittelsbach reduced the promotion benefits for range and rate of fire for level 2 and level 3 by 33%. Oh my god, that's a huge nerf. I guess that's uh, a nerf for both supremacy and treaty. Because they are a really good unit. They are cheap and their stats are really good. And since they are skirmisher, you can have them promoted very easily because they are always in a really high range and well their range even gets increased as well when they kill units. Sudani dervishes damage range and range resist reduced to 9 from 40, uh, range from 14 to 13 and then the range resistance from 20 to 15 percent all right that's a huge nerf actually on their base stats. Remove the times 5 damage uh, multiplier against Infantry, artillery, and villager. Oh my god. Range damage multiplier against heavy infantry reduced to 2.5 instead of 3 times. Oh wait. Oh, okay. So now they do damage against artillery, infantry, and villager. Okay. So apparently they had this debuff. Now it's just removed. And their speed is increased to 5, alright. So that protect Lightning Warrior damage multiplier against Heavy Infantry reduced to 2.25 instead of 2.5. I don't know why, really. They're, they're not that strong, even in Supremacy. Like, they are good units, but they were not a broken one. Anyway, uh, Advanced Artillery now also sends one Mortar. This is an interesting card because imagine you get one mortar in h3 and also it will enable or uh, horse artillery and mortar to be trained at h3 that's a really good card actually it it gives a value to have one mortar at h3 i would say and then the bastion and well technically any wall upgrade now slows down the wall construction time by additional 30% up to 80% and 70%. Oh my god, that's a huge nerf. So basically there are, there are two wall nerfs right now. So firstly is the cost 
and now is the build time. Hopefully we'll see the wall spammers stop wall spamming. And the uh wait, which one is this? Oh it's a tech, okay. Uh the tech from the house of Wetin where it used to increase your cavalry armor by 20%, now it increased the armor by 15%. I guess this is a good nerf because I mean twenty percent is a lot. Even fifteen percent is a lot on on the cavalry uh, resistance. I would say ten percent is like fair enough. Fifteen percent is still a lot. Uh, Iron Knights, the speed is increased to four. Improved damage multiplier against artillery and cavalry to five point two five and zero point seven five instead of five and times uh, zero point six. Okay, good. Improved grenades and grenade rifles card remove and effect merge into a new British grenadier card. So British have this new card in H3 where when you get it, your grenadiers will have that rifle uh, ability. So their range will be increased by two and same for their line of sight. And then their combat is reduced by okay so they get 20 percent combat and building damage by additional 15 percent okay so the building damage is reduced okay so it's 10 percent less damage versus building so it's also five percent nerfed to the combat as well okay fair enough chinese hand mortar fixed at times six damage multiplier against siege units which are grenadiers arrow knights and well any unit that have the siege unit tag team hanging bridge this one is now available in h2 and also the icon is updated as well dutch east india company improved the bank h3 by 75 percent instead of 100 percent and the uh, the icon is updated and the new h4 icon card fixed the build limit so now you can only train 30 of them instead of having a limitless Archon build limit. I guess this is a good change, but still Dutch is still rather weak in treaty. And then Ethiopians, the Shota Warrior movement speed is increased to 6.25. That's a decent buff actually to their speed. And the Seven Jesus Ally sends uh, six of them, so that's a nerf. Ten Jesus Ally in H3 sends eight of them okay so that's two less oh my god two less jesuits in h3 that's a decent amount french oh okay so the, the card is just updated okay nothing that much and the german dops uh melee attack range is now visible wait how visible is that so when you hold uh alt you will see that i guess and then uh team attack cavalry no longer stacks with the italian equivalent card okay so that makes sense but the nashani warchief eagle eye ability a uh, area of effect reduced to two this is the third time they're nerfing this Forest Prowler train time reduced to 36 seconds instead of 33 seconds. Rams can now uh, attack units doing 10 damage with times 4 against artillery. Ram continues to prioritize buildings over units. Okay, so now Rams are a dangerous unit. I would say. I'm not joking. Rams are legit dangerous now. How's uh, for the tactics? So this is the full on card. The card is moved to H3. Non-siege range now gets increased by plus 2 instead of plus 3. And siege range now gets increased by plus 4 instead of plus 3. Full on archer range is increased to 18 from 70. And then Inca Huraka's damage multiplier against infantry now applies to heavy infantry only. Range reduced to 21 in H3, down from 23, and increased to 14 in H2. Plum Spearman cost increased to 100 food and 25 food, 100 food and 25 wood, so that's a 10 food nerf. Chimu Runner cost and train time increased to uh, basically 5 extra food and 5 extra gold, and the train time is increased by 3 seconds. Jungle Bowman. Poison effect now inflicts 50% less damage against, against heavy cavalry and hand shock infantry. Priestess hit point reduced to 300 
20 instead of 360. This is a huge nerf to Inca. Like, I don't get why their cost is increased. Like, Inca's eco is not that good post treaty. This is gonna hurt them a lot. You're gonna drain very fast with Inca now. Italian's Roman tactic now also improves the units in the Imperial Age by a additional 15%. The aura radius has been held to 17. I've tried this. It's really good actually. The the buff is decent because you'll get more damage and it's it's actually very nice. It's actually very nice. Team Cavalry attack no longer stacks with the German equivalent card. Lakota Team Rom Distillery has been added. I don't know why, but I guess it's good for Team Supremacy, uh, 3D20, and uh, potentially FFAs. But for 3D 40s and above, it's like very nightmare because Lakota. Lakota already have so many good cards and having this card as well on top of that is just very sick. Well, aside from the fact that their Iku is going to be very good. And the Japanese 47 Ronin Masterless Samurai are now also classified as heavy infantry and their speed is reduced to 5.5 to instead of 7. Team uh, Utsusu Mortar fixed an issue with the card neither affecting damage nor the team as a whole now also grants samurai a hand mortar siege only against building so this thing is fixed no issue this thing could be broken i'm not even joking this is very strong very very strong because you can't Samurais have a really decent speed and you cannot really go in melee with them and being able to siege and kite around the building with high range is something that is very strong. So this might need a nerf for the next patch. We'll see. Maltese reduced shipment penalty curve to 1% instead of 2%. One Falconet and one more talk card has been added in H3. Mexican Saltador hit point is reduced to 110 instead of 115. Range reduced to 18, but the Vigilant upgrade adds a plus 2 range instead of 1. And then the plan of Ayatollah fixed an issue that resulted the revolution in not being available after returning from a revolt. So I've tried this, so technically you can train revolutionaries uh, even when you are on Mexico itself. Plan of Miramar, the cost is reduced to 750 wood and 750 food instead of 1k of each. My revolution, cruise of infantry range has been reduced to 16 instead of 18. I'm kind of sad about this, but I'm fine as well because, I mean, a musket infantry with 18 range is too strong. I would say 16 is just fair enough. And the cult of the talking cross corrected the tooltip pointing out the card improved both hit point and damage of all hero units not just the general and improves the treasure rewards okay so now this card has been fixed and also you get more uh, treasure rewards when you collect them and this card now also sends six fishing boats and it's updated in the icon and the the healer card in the Mayan Revolution updated the priestess strength and capabilities to roughly match a legendary Inca priestess. And also you will be able to retrain the priestess from the cathedral for 300 coin. I would say this is a good thing to have. We'll see how it will be in action, but it's definitely a good thing to have. Uh, Rio Grande Revolution. Guard upgrades remain free, but now take 200% longer to research. Sierra Madre Republic, maximum amount of possible settlers reduced to 24 instead of 85. This is a huge nerf though. Like you get only 24 of them instead of 85 or any a higher amount. Like you only get 24. Like, come on. I, I, I would say the card not really worth it anymore to send rather send other cards for both supremacy and treaty texas army texas revolution fix an issue with the cost increase by setting it to 500 coin also reverted the train time increase all right and the ottomans as up fix an issue with the siege damage not being reduced 20 range damage multiplier against lightning cavalry increased to 2.23.25 instead of three range range decreased to 14 instead of 16 
put the veteran and guard upgrade now improve the range by two the imam cost is increased to 900 food and now provide 200 gold this is the age of by the way portuguese ordinary rifleman reverted unintentional improvement to their unit speed and train time so regardless of that the unit is still very cheap and strong so i don't know about that team rom distillery has been added so they had rum distillery before but now it is team rum distillery so their own eco is slightly nerfed late game but the good thing is now you provide the whole team with 15 percent plantation gather rate and the naval infantry now also classifies as other ship than galleon as training ship resulting in lower damage from the cobran russian five perchick has been increased to six perchicks swedes the march of hackaplates now also sends three hackaplates in h2 that's a decent card i would say united states cavern cavalry reduced range reduced to 12 from 14 in h2 but automatically restores in restores to 14 in h3 the pennsylvania rifles from the church card the cost is increased to 625 instead of 575 and the pennsylvania cavalry the cost is changed to 625 point instead of 800 food that's an interesting change now the revolutions there are some adjustments firstly the argentina higher element fixed the wrong display number of the card in the italian argentina revolution beverage states corsair captain fixed an issue that unintentionally gave course and unit partial hunting abilities canada native warrior conscription card replaced with native weapon trait increasing the native warrior build limit so this might potentially kill canadians in treaty 40 i would say because you don't get super cheap native units anymore and with that economy i doubt they can keep up with it so yeah probably that's gonna be the end of them and chile the german settlements now sent two settler wagons instead of three and the settler wagons take 40 seconds to train instead of 25 seconds oh my god that's a huge nerf on the training speed Solid Solid Rera fixed the omission of build limits for the state to be 10 and the coin trickle is reduced to 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.8. Grand Columbia 3 Iron Clouds has been added, Indonesia Advanced Arsenal has been added, and the Infinite War Elephants now cost one population. The Peru American Allies fixed an issue with the card not removing the courage option within the carib alliance and now well that is fixed and monco inca monco inca is no longer classified as hero so they've done that so united state the card reverted the cost increased to 500 coins of 800 uh nox uh continental artillery cost reduced to 600 wood instead of 1k wood removed the cost from the following cards so the dragon card the sharpshooter card and the continental regiment I'm, i can't remember which one is this but so all of these the cost has been removed so technically they are free units from the shipment so the map changes has been there and i've seen a lot of people have been having issues with this to have deccan as one of the standard maps but yeah other than that that was all about this patch. It was rather a small patch. So stay tuned for the uh, upcoming videos in this week, which is going to be the channel update and plans for 2024. And also a big, huge announcement, which was done by Microsoft, which we will be going through that later on inside a separate video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe and turn on the notification down below. And if you have any comments or question, feel free to drop it. I will check and reply all of them. Until the next time, stay safe, have fun, and goodbye.